Okay, kids. This is a story about a quest for fame, glory, and most importantly, treasure. Meet Connor, a charming, devilishly handsome, determined young man who was obsessed with riddles ever since he was a kid. And on July 5th, 15 days before his day of birth, he believed that he had found his calling. A clue for the ultimate treasure had been presented to him, and with the help of his just as dashing friend Brady, they were off. But I should warn you now, this is not a story of triumph, but instead, one of failure. The rules were quite simple. The treasure would be found in our city limits, and a clue would be posted at 8 a.m. every morning until it was found. The first clue read as follows. The medallion hunt starts today. The clues I'll give of where I lay. North, south, east, or west, which direction is the best? The clues so far aren't much as you see. A challenging time this hunt must be. Now it's time, your first real clue. I will tell you what you should do. My starting point, I'm sure you'll ask. Just find an animal from our past. Our first instinct was to go back to a time long, long ago. Poor little mole. He's not the creature from our past though. Do you know mine, bro? This is Dino the dinosaur at our local gas station. We thought he was far enough from our past to give him a quick check and knew he was the starting point of all of this madness. What you got, Willis? Suddenly, we noticed we had visitors. That girl's totally looking. This just got serious. A woman came up and said, no luck, guys. <laughs> guys, we got serious competition. Since we didn't have much to go on, we searched most of the major places in town, from the sports fields, to the actual fields. It. Two places unknown. Nah, I just kidding. Even getting a little distracted here and there. Uh oh. Well, not the clue. The next morning, the second clue was posted, reading, Wow, it's really getting hot out here. Not too many people have come near. I can see trees there next to me. Cars drive by as they look for me. No baseball or football do I see. Not my hiding places, it's not for me. So now a clue to help guide you on your way. From the starting point, this is what I say. Think north, south, east, or west. Zephyrus says his way is best. Now you know which way to go. Find me soon to get the dough. At this moment, we knew where to look. All right, I... It's the next day. Another clue's been given. Something about when this medallion is here, people drive by it and it's also by trees. They also said that it's not at the places that we had been looking yesterday. So, it's a great waste of time. So now, I'm at this nature park. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I should also say it's in Zephyrus. He's the west wind god, which means now I'm looking on the entire west side of, we still think the dinosaur is the starting point, but I'm now looking on the west side of that dinosaur and this park happens to be on that west side. I think this could be a pretty perfect spot for it. So. Again, visitors had arrived. There's another family here again. It's like, it's like, it's like six minutes after when they post this stuff. These people, aren't. I had to walk through this trail. I don't think the medallion will be here. I think it'll be closer to the road, but oh my gosh. Once everyone left, we started searching once more. Person through just about everything. Not there. It's gotta be here. Feel it. All right, so Brady told me there's a geocache, I think around this sign. So it's to the left of it or under a rock or something. So I've been scouring and I haven't found anything yet, but it could be here. Just gotta keep digging. Sadly, the nature park had nothing, but that wouldn't stop us so easy. And I hate to say it, but this one seems to be a bust. I couldn't find anything here, and there's so many good hiding spots. Unless it's farther back in the woods, but they said that it could see the car drive by, so I don't think he'd want us to go super far back. I don't know, but uh, staying here and looking over the same places is not going to do anything. Got to find somewhere else. People, they were here. People. Okay, so I have a new idea. It is literally on the main road. But yes, I think that this tree line is owned by the city. It's 
it's right off the main road west of it too which is exactly what we need not a bad spot there she is that big old straight that's where we're gonna look we are here and scouring look something over there what's that road work ahead well yeah i sure hope it does Guys, I see nothing. Well guys, I looked all the way down there by that thing, nothing. And now I'm doing one more swoop back around, but so far, again, another bust. I feel like we're so close, like we're on to something. Every single time, and then nothing, nothing at all. I feel like we have enough clues now to actually find the thing. We know it's on the west side, it's close to the road, so that cars can see it, but it's also by some trees. I mean, that could literally be anywhere, but <laughs> I don't know. So close, yet so far. Not moments later, we heard something that we thought couldn't be real. Alrighty. Hello, everyone. Apparently, the thing has been found. Someone has heard a rumor. So... Yeah. That was until we found out it was a fake. So back to looking we went, and our next spot was the local burn pile. Okay, we're back at a burn pile. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is where our story takes a turn. About 30 minutes later, we got a call from my dad saying that the treasure had been found in the exact place we had been looking just then. All we had to do was go there 10 minutes sooner. Though this story doesn't have a happy ending, not all of them have to. Because without the bad stories, we never have any good stories to tell. And lucky for us, there was one just around the corner the waiting to happen. Stop sign? Figure it out. Let's figure it out. <laughs>